Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone had a blessed week. I have something exciting to share with you. Have us sent out this portable countertop dishwasher. I'm going to open it up, show you what's on the inside, and then I'm going to test it out. How many people you know have a wash and dryer in their van and a countertop dishwasher <laughs> i am feeling all kind of bougie over here i am loving it when they reached out to me i was so excited to receive this dishwasher you guys know that i throw it down in this kitchen i'm always cooking and when i'm done cooking i have a lot of dishes to wash sometimes i want to just sit down relax and eat and now i can because i have this dishwasher and so I'm excited. I am very excited. Let's see if I can just pull this straight out. Let's see how much how many, how much muscles I have. Okay. Whoa. Okay. This is a nice size. I can throw the box out so I can make some room for the dishwasher. I'm gonna sit it here for now. Uh, while I finish taking the packaging off of it. Ooh, now this is cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is so cute. Wow. I just got to take a minute and look at it. Oh, this is cute. Remove. I'm going to check out the inside and see what all is in there. So let me turn this back around so you guys can see it as well. And then I'll give you a 360 view of it. Took all the tape off of it. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. <laughs> this is so cute. It has something wet in here. Hmm. I think it's just water. It doesn't smell like anything. Move all the foam out the way. So it has a basket just like a household dishwasher. It has this little water pitcher here. And I know that you add water to the top of this. I read the instructions on the top. So we'll get to that in just a second. Living in a van is like living in a home. The only difference is home is wherever you park it. <laughs> you can have all the amenities that you have in your sticks and bricks home in your motor home. Piece of tape don't wanna come off. A basket, not sure what the basket's for, but I'm gonna check that out in just a second. We have the water hose and I have the drain hose. It comes with all of the same features that you would have in a residential dishwasher. This little compartment here is for your civil work. I see a slot here on the front where you add your soap. Let me take this out again. I see something else on the inside. So this is your filter. It's going to collect the food that may still be left on your dishes. So that's nice. And then it has a water dispenser on the bottom and I did see one on the top. It even wash your fruit. Okay, so I'm reading the directions on here. And let me back up just a sec because I'm really excited about this dishwasher. It can wash up to four plate settings. So that's four dinner plates, four salad plates, four bowls, four cups, along with the silverware. Wow, so you can wash quite a bit. That top rack that I was wondering about, what is showing on here is that you can add your coffee mugs to this top rack here, and then your glasses will go in the bottom rack. I'm gonna test it out on fruit, and then tomorrow when I cook my Easter dinner, I'm gonna test it out again and see how well it cleans those dirty dishes. a nice quiet close and it has a magnet closure. 
guys can catch that. It has a magnet closure. So you gotta give it a little tug to open it up. On the side of the unit is the carrying handles. So you can pick it up here to move it wherever you need to. There is a vent here. And here's the handle on this side. This is a look at the back of the unit. And then down here at the bottom, the connections and the power cord. The Hava R1 compact countertop dishwasher is perfect for tiny spaces. And whether you live in an RV, tiny apartment, or van, this dishwasher will surely fit. It's lightweight but powerful to wash away stubborn stains. The Hava R01 is a 950 watt dishwasher and weighs roughly 28 pounds empty. It measures around 17 inches in length and width and 18 inches in height. This is the top display. I'm going to press the power button oh okay i didn't know what to expect <laughs> it looks like there's several different wash cycles we have normal speed soft baby care oh here's the cycle for the fruit you want a normal wash it takes an hour and 10 minutes if you want to speed wash your dishes, that's 29 minutes, about 30 minutes. Soft is showing a picture of glasses. That's an hour. Baby care. You have like baby items, baby bottles and nipples and things like that. It takes almost two hours um, for those to be clean. And then for the fruit, 19 minutes. This is going to be the cleanest fruit that I've ever eaten. So I'm going to test it out on the fruits. And then after I cook my Easter dinner, I'm going to put it to the real test and see how well it washed dishes. So we're going to test it out today on the fruit setting and see how that goes. I had mentioned earlier that there was some water in uh, the dishwasher when I first opened it up. And on here it says the dishwasher undergoes a quality test for the water inlet before it leaves the factory. So a little residual water is normal. So that explains why there's some water on the inside of this when I open it up. There's two ways that you can add water to this dishwasher. One is with the um, water hose. You connect it to your faucet. I don't have an attachment for that. The other option is to add water to the built in tank with the pitcher so that's why they sent you this pitcher is so that you can add water to it it does take about a gallon and a half of water um, to fill this up um, be mindful of that once you start adding water if there's not enough water it starts beeping to let you know to add more water so i do like that feature so we'll test that out and see if we can hear the beeping as i slowly add water to this dishwasher here so i'm going to go ahead and connect the drain hose to the back of it so i want to show you that i can't remember which side it was on let's see it's on the other side so let me turn it this way this dishwasher it is not heavy it's only around 28 and a half pounds so it's really lightweight for your drain hose all you do is attach it to the bottom like so. All I'm doing is, is pressing it to make sure that it fits taut. Let me flip this up so you guys can see it. So you don't have to do any screwing or anything like that. All you do is just press it on. So let me take it off so you can see. <laughs> All I'm doing is pushing it on like so. And that's it, it's on. And I'm just making sure that it's all the way up to the top. On the other end is this um, suction cup. So you can suction this to the side of your sink so it doesn't move around. Something I just noticed, there is a bracket here. So I'm going to slide that to the opposite end and secure that in place so once the water flows out, the hose doesn't pop off. I didn't see that at first. And I'm using my hands to tighten this up. To make sure the water hose doesn't come off once the water starts flowing out. So I'm giving it a little jiggle and it is nice and tight. <laughs> 
I was looking for instructions on how to place the fruit basket on the inside of this dishwasher and I couldn't find any. So I am going to just place it down. I'm not sure if it goes towards the front, if it goes towards the back. I'm not sure, but it seemed like it's fitting. As you can see, it does have those prongs sticking up. I'm assuming that's how you load it. I have a mango. I'm gonna put that in the center. I have an apple. I'm gonna peel this tag off of it because I wanna make sure that it doesn't get trapped in my filter. And then I have, I have some grapes. Let me show you guys. And I still have room for more fruit if I wanted to add some more, but I'm gonna just go with that for now. hit start on the dishwasher and it started beeping and then these red lights showed up let me know that I don't have any water so I like that it shows you that there's no water in it so let me turn it around because I got this up here that I can't add water to it without moving it the low power usage of the Hava R01 will save you money on both your water and energy bill. It only uses 1.5 gallons of water to wash and rinse, which is about 75% less than washing dishes by hand. No plumbing is required to use the dishwasher with two water supply options. You can add water to the built-in tank with the water pitcher provided or connect it to your faucet. There's the water everywhere. <laughs> so it takes a gallon and a half so I need to add another half gallon and the red light is still on there let me know that there's not enough water if you're looking for a new dishwasher or ready to replace the 20 year old outdated dishwasher in your home then the Hava R01 might be the dishwasher to fit your needs Hava is currently offering you $20 off this dishwasher bringing the price down to $309 if you shop through the link in the description box below and use my discount code Tiffany 20 at checkout. What a sweet deal. Ah. <laughs> it started beeping to let me know I have enough water. It's washing. <laughs> Halfway through the cycle we're probably back down to like nine minutes and I heard the water draining out of the dishwasher I was trying to hop over here to the sink so I can catch that on camera but I couldn't get over here fast enough so it washed for 10 minutes it drained I'm assuming half of the water and then it started back washing again this is gonna be the cleanest fruit that I've ever eaten <laughs> so the dishwasher just stopped check it out mm -hmm. I love that blue light okay. tastes clean to me this is fruit it doesn't dry there's not a drying option so I'm gonna go ahead and dry it off with a paper towel and my fruit doesn't feel soft like it was bruised by the water here's an option for drying and it's 60 seconds so it takes one hour to dry this out so there's not an option to dry the fruit and that makes sense because the fruit would get too hot 
I'm going to let this dry for the one hour. I will come back after I cook my Easter dinner to run this dishwasher with dirty dishes. I will show you guys how well it cleans. As you can't really tell on the fruit, it tastes clean. <laughs> it tastes really clean. There's nothing gritty or anything like that on the fruit. First impression, I'm very impressed with this dishwasher. It's compact. It's able to wash four plate settings. That's four dinner plates, four salsas, four bowls, four cups, four coffee cups, and then all of the silverware to go with it. So I'm very impressed. And I love having this basket to wash the fruits. So that is an added bonus to this dishwasher. It's very quiet. I love the sleekness of it. I love all the different functions straight out the box. I love that there wasn't a lot of setting up to do. It wasn't an issue with pulling out this dishwasher and adding the water to the top of it. And to be honest with you, I probably do that and save the few extra bucks and not go out and buy a adapter. So this is going to come off of this countertop whenever I'm cooking. But yeah, I'm very impressed. I like it and I can't wait to show you guys how well it works and I come back in a couple of days after I cook my Easter dinner and let you guys see how well it washes the dishes. Thank you again to Hava for sponsoring today's video. There is a link to their website in the description box as well as a discount code where you can save $20 off this dishwasher. Check the link in the description box below and have fun shopping. I am back for the second half of this video. I just finished cooking my Easter dinner hence the reason why I have on these bunny ears and you guys see um, Easter eggs around the van I have lots of dishes here so I am going to load the dishwasher and see how well it cleans these dirty dishes so I still have the um, bowl in here from the other day when I washed the fruit I need here to get these dishes in the dishwasher that are falling for video purposes I'm going to move my dishes to the other side of the counter so that you guys can see me loading the dishes in so I'm gonna move this over Swap that out. Ah. I try to clean most of the food off of my dishes before I add them to the dishwasher. And I don't know if I have room for my pot, so I'm going to leave those um, last. I may be able to fit the lids in here, but we'll have to see. Because of the tip on the bottom of my knives, it does not fit. I was trying to see if I can take this off. Ha. Huh. So I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to take this off so that I can get my knife, my knives in here. So I like that this comes off and we can get some of the larger items in here. That's that banana pudding. We're going to see how well that cleans off. I am alright. There's something. Why are these turned the right way? <laughs> I haven't loaded a dishwasher in so long that I don't even remember. Heading to the I haven't turned the right way. Somebody tell me in the comments. Another day, being stuck here in this place. No. I think that's all that's going to fit, so I'm going to hand wash those pots, but it fits quite a bit. I want to give you a close-up of all the dishes that I loaded in here. You can see all the food, how dirty the plates are, and there's food on the silverware. Borrow some dish soap from my neighbors because I didn't have any. So I had to borrow some. I don't wash dishes without bleach. <laughs> so I'm going to pour it in like so. I think a little bit more. That should be enough. I am using the speed mode. So I'm going through here until I get to speed. So normal is 69 seconds, which is an hour and nine minutes. I'm going for speed, which is 29 uh, minutes. I've already added the water to it. So I'm going to hit start.
thought I had enough water in there, but I didn't add quite enough. So let me go ahead and move this and add some more water. I love that it tells you that you don't have enough water. Did you hear that beeping? It lets me know that I have enough water. Bottom is starting to fill up with water. And there you go. So I set it to speed wash and it's been going for one minute. Speed wash is 29 minutes. I hope I didn't add too much soap. I have four minutes left on the dishwasher. I was a little bit worried halfway through that I had added too much soap because there was a lot of soap left in here, but it's now rinsing and I don't see any soap um, residue. So I'm happy about that, but I thought I had added too much, but I just wanted to give you guys a look at it at uh, four minutes left to see how the dishes look. I don't see any food on the plates and four more minutes I'll open it up, check it out and then close it so that it can do the dry cycle. Down to two minutes. So I'm gonna open it up once it's done before it starts drying and let you guys see um, how clean the dishes are. I hear more water draining out of it. Yeah. So my plate is clean, plates are clean, clean, and I don't see any food on my silverware. So those are all clean. Yeah, those are clean. Clean, clean, clean. And now it's dry. So as you saw, all of the dishes were clean except for this bowl. And that could be because the way that I loaded the dishes, the plate that I had sweet potatoes on, my casserole dish, I had that came out clean. So everything else is clean except for this bowl. And it could be because the way that I loaded the dishwasher. I'm very impressed with this dishwasher. I think it did a great job on washing the dishes. I love this magnet closure. So if you like um, the sleekness of it, I love the functionality of it. I love all the different um, settings on here they're very easy to read there wasn't I didn't even really need to pull out the manual because it was just so easy to operate this dishwasher there's instructions I love having this built-in tank I can add water I didn't have to go out and buy an attachment to hook it up to my faucet or anything like that I love the cool blue light on here so that was really neat and I also mentioned that there are two handles on the side of this which makes it easier to move this dishwasher does weigh around 28 pounds once you add water to it it is a bit heavier so keep that in mind I think this dishwasher is perfect for someone that's living in a tiny home or you're living in an RV um, even a van you guys know my space is extremely small this works very impressed I'm happy with this dishwasher and I'm not giving away I know somebody's gonna ask me in the comments I'm not giving you my dishwasher it's not gonna happen nor am I giving you my dryer thank you again Hava for sending this out to me and for sponsoring today's video please check the description box below for a link to their website as well as a discount code. All right, that's it for today's video. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Bye.